In 1545, the Italian mathematician Girolamo Cardano posed the problem, find two numbers that add to 10 and multiply to 40. Cardano found the answer 5 plus the square root of negative 15 and 5 minus the square root of negative 15. But what is the square root of negative 15? It can't be a positive number, since the square of a positive number is positive. And it can't be a negative number, since the square of a negative number is still positive. So, what could it be? A normal person would say that the problem has no solution. But Cardano wasn't a normal person. He was a mathematician. Putting aside the mental tortures involved, these values actually solve the equation. And today we refer to them as complex numbers. If a and b are both positive, then the square root of a, b can be rewritten as the square root of a times the square root of b. If we're careful, we can extend this concept to complex numbers if n is greater than 0 then the square root of negative n is the square root of negative 1 times the square root of n. This means it will be useful to define i to be the square root of negative 1. So we can simplify expressions like square root of negative 25. We can write negative 25 as negative 1 times 25. And since 25 is greater than 0, then we can rewrite square root negative 1 is i and square root of 25 is 5 and it's traditional to put i as the second factor although we don't always do that. Now Cardano's problem actually gives rise to the quadratic equation x squared minus 10x plus 40 equals 0, so let's solve it. And remember, factoring to solve a quadratic is almost always a waste of time. Use the quadratic formula. So using the quadratic formula, we get the solutions. And let's do a little simplification. First of all, any time we have a fraction whose numerator is a sum or difference, we can split it apart. This square root of negative 60, we can rewrite. We can rewrite square root of negative 1 as i. And we can simplify the radical square root 60 as... where here we've written the i first. Now, a number like 5i is called a pure imaginary. Meanwhile, a number like 5 plus i root 15 is a complex number with real part 5 and imaginary part square root of 15. And note that the imaginary part is the real number multiplied by i and does not include the i. For example, let's identify the real and imaginary parts of 3 minus 4i. So remember in the complex number a plus bi, the real part is a and the imaginary part is b. So the real part is 3. Meanwhile, remember a minus b is the same as a plus negative b. And so we can write 3 minus 4i as 3 plus negative 4i. So what we might call the imaginary component of the number is negative 4i, and so the imaginary part is negative 4. Or consider a number like 5 plus 12i. Let's write a number with the same real part and opposite imaginary part. The real part of the number is 5, and the imaginary part is 12. The opposite of the imaginary part is negative 12, so a number with the same real part and opposite imaginary part would be 5 minus 12i. 